now. Anything change as far as total so far in the area? Not really, Susan. It looks like our jackpot of snow for our viewing area would be Newport up through the East Bay of Rhode Island. Even heavier amounts just to the east of our viewing area in Plymouth County, Massachusetts could easily see over a foot of snow there. On live pinpoint Doppler 12, everybody covered in the blue. That means we're all getting snow. You don't need to look at the radar to know that. Now, what we can show you on live pinpoint Doppler 12 are these darker shades of blue. And notice how they are especially dark as we go into a Fall River, New Bedford, out there towards Cuddy Hunk Island. Basically, we have some very heavy bands of snow moving right now. These could potentially approach one, two, maybe three inches an hour. So very dangerous to travel in this. Visibility will be terrible, and the roads obviously will not be in good condition either. The possibility also exists that over the next several hours, we actually get some thunder snow, especially here in eastern Massachusetts out towards the Cape. The rest of us in Rhode Island will also get the snow, perhaps not quite as much as further out to the east. Already on the ground, quite impressive. Bristol, five inches. West Coventry, four inches of snow. Westport, three and a half. Narragansett, three inches. Providence, three. Warwick, about 1.8. And these will be adding up quickly over the next several hours. So winter storm warning for our viewing area. A blizzard warning has now been extended for all of Plymouth County, Massachusetts. Initially, it was just for the eastern portions, but now it's all of Plymouth County for Cape Cod and the islands. Travel extremely dangerous across Cape Cod and Plymouth County tonight. It's not going to be great here either. You can see that clearly by the uh, snow falling here in the capital city. Temperature is 31. Winds are getting busy out of the north at 18 miles an hour. These will intensify as that center of low pressure approaches. Now temperatures mostly below freezing. 28 Smithfield, 31 Providence. Notice New Bedford a tick above freezing. However, there's so much energy with the storm. So much precipitation is falling, which can actually create its own cooling effect. I think that overpowers any um, hint to maybe go over to rain. I think we stay mostly snow with this event. And as we take a wider view, you can see this burst of snow pushing through right now. Now, this is not even the center of the storm. The center of the storm is still just off the coast of the Mid-Atlantic. That center of low pressure still has to make a close pass later on tonight. We could actually get a little bit of a lull in the precipitation right around uh, 10 o'clock and then one final burst as that low passes around midnight or so. Here's that center of low pressure where it's going to be tonight. This will generate not only heavy snow, but very strong winds, especially out there towards Cape Cod. So this is how it looks 8 o'clock this evening. The darker blue shows still potentially very heavy bands of snow, especially from Newport, Narragansett, Little Compton, New Bedford. But even in the Providence areas to the west can still potentially also see these heavier bands, just not quite as frequent as we'll see out to our east. Now, as we go through uh, time here to 10 and 30 this evening, you can see it starts to lighten up a little bit. Now, we're still snowing heavy here from uh, points east of Providence into New Bedford, Cape Cod. But this is a time where we could see a bit of a lull in the really heavy snow. But then again, a, an additional heavy burst is possible right around midnight as the center of the storm finally will leave us. And then look at how rapidly things clear out. By 3 o'clock in the morning, this thing is gone. We're looking at sunshine tomorrow morning, but obviously the potential of some very slick roads will be there. So right now we're thinking 5 to 10 inches for most of our viewing area, 9 to 12 from Newport up through the East Bay, including a Fall River. There is our jackpot, Plymouth County, 12 to 15 inches of snow. Now, one of the reasons we have such a large range here is that we're going to see banding. Basically, you can see a heavy band set up in one neighborhood and you could end up with seven, eight, nine inches and your neighbor just a few miles away could end up with five or six. That's just the type of storm that this is. A uh, 26, that is a recent gust in Smithfield. Here is what gusts look like overnight. 30 to 40 miles an hour inland, 40 to 50 from the south coast into most of southern Bristol County, Massachusetts, 50 to 60 for the outer Cape. So obviously dangerous travel, isolated wind damages and slick surfaces tomorrow morning. There's the seven day future cast and you can see a little more snow possible Tuesday, but way too soon to talk about that. We take things, Susan, <laughs> one storm at a time, right? Absolutely. I'd like to be that neighbor that gets like two. Yes. That's all. We'll see if that works out. <laughs> Most of us, though, will get at least above two inches. And TJ Del Santo, he's in the weather yard. He's been uh, keeping track of That's how right. the storm might affect power outages. So we join TJ right now. Yeah, Pete, you talked about the wind and it is, uh, you know, kind of getting a little gusty out here. And what I have noticed, the visibility is dropping. We are seeing the snow fall at about a rate of about an inch an hour. Now, using this tree above me, you can see how the snow is already collecting on some of the branches and you can actually make out uh, the uh, uh, power line that we have out here. And 
eventually this heavy snow is going to start weighting down on the trees in your neighborhood everywhere across southern New England and we could be looking at some of these uh, branches snapping especially once the winds get going some of the power lines could come down and we could be looking at some uh, isolated power outages across the area will it be as bad as the blizzard last year probably not but best advice to you make sure those cell phones are charged or, or any of those uh, you know video games for the kids to keep them occupied throughout the night and perhaps into the daytime uh, tomorrow. Reporting live from the Weather Yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News. Coming up on Eyewitness